Good morning, everyone. It is day nine, post-op, 360 lipo, BBL. Oh, just arrived here to get my massage. I slept okay yesterday. I took half of a painkiller because I was a little bit more sore this morning and because this massage I'm gonna have right now hurts like hell. Also, I took it because I had a bit of a headache. I woke up with a swollen face and swollen feet. I think my feet were swollen today just because I slept in the avocado, right? I slept in a different position. So with like my feet hanging over the edge, I think that's just naturally where my body sent the extra fluids to my feet. You know, your feet look like mountains. That's what my feet looked like this morning. And they're still a little bit swollen, not as swollen as when I initially woke up, like when I take a step. Like I can actually feel the swelling. Like I could feel the sensation. I could actually feel the fluids in my feet. But I'm also like, with all the fasting that I'm done, I'm done. I'm super in tune with my body. Um, so I took the painkiller because of the situation and it just kind of hit me that I should have had food with it. And I wasn't hungry this morning. It was really weird actually. So I sometimes forget to take like food with the pills or whatever. It's just like, I don't take pills very often. I haven't been nauseous once this entire experience. So as I'm driving here, cause I took it probably about an hour ago as I'm driving here, I'm like, whoa, I feel like this really, really deep hunger that I typically do not feel in the morning. And I felt that. And then a few seconds later, then I started feeling nauseous. So um, hopefully I'm able to just, you know, go through this massage and not have any issues, but I'm tired today. I'm feeling a little bit off today for sure. It's gonna be a, it's gonna be a slow day, but yeah, some more soreness, I would say. Um, my mom said she, thought that my legs were initially swollen and have looked like they've shrunk over time. I think I'm gonna get my different size Faja today. I mean, I didn't fit in the large, but I think I'm gonna fit in the XL. So that's exciting. And uh, yeah, so I will check in with you throughout the day. Okay, so I just got done with my massage. That was by far so much better than the previous two that I had with that per specific person. And it's because I took the painkiller. I was nauseous on the drive there. Thankfully, I wasn't nauseous when I got there. Um, the way she massages, I feel like I have to almost go to the bathroom every time, but all the other times I was like, no, I was like, I can't wait till this is over. I was cussing internally, screaming internally because it was so painful. And today I was just like, I don't want this to end. I don't want to get up. So she uses like this ultrasound radio frequency machine. She uses her hands and then she does uses the machine, but the price for those is a hundred and sixty dollars so you have to anticipate to be spending a lot of money on massages i've heard people recommend anywhere between 12 and 20. i've seen people get lymphatic drainage massages eight months after their operations so something to, to take into consideration as another additional cost like i'm probably going to easily spend two thousand dollars on massages when this is all said and done i'm really really sleepy after that massage actually and I feel like my face is more swollen if I can barely see. I kind of want to go take a nap. Um, I probably didn't really sleep as much as I should have yesterday uh, or last night. But um, I think what I'm going to do, because I'm probably going to be in California for at least a few more days, I'm going to try to get in with this lady, but just do all hands and not the machine because I'm like, the cost is just kind of ridiculous. So. Just my thoughts there as I'm really, really, really sleepy. All right, for breakfast, I'm having some chicken, cabbage salsa. Been kind of eating this for days now. I got food to go. They actually gave me two chicken salads. So got rid of the lettuce, picked out the chicken, and oh, just love the Mexican food. My ankles over here. I mean, it's hard to tell because you don't know what my feet look like normally, but I did lose a toenail over here but my feet are definitely puffy. Um, look at my ankles. Yeah, you could really tell on my ankles. Um, my legs do not usually look like that. They are usually not that thick of a rick. So with every step I take, I can actually feel the fluid in my ankles, which is kind of crazy. Oh, today kicked my butt. I am tired. It's not even nine o'clock yet, but I am definitely, definitely ready for bed. The swelling has kind of just stayed in my ankles the entire day. Every step I take, I can actually feel the fluid moving around. I feel like my face swelling went down a little bit. I just wear this at night now. I don't wear it too much during the day. If I'm like home alone, 
Sometimes during the day I'll wear it, but not always. That's kind of how today went. I will uh, see you guys tomorrow.